Welcome back to Inside the PGTI as we tee off the season opening Ahmedabad Masters at the Kalhar Blues and Greens. The story of round one revolved almost entirely around Group 8, which featured Rashid Khan, the 2013 Rolex rankings winner, Angad Chima, who finished third, and Anirban Lahiri, the top ranked Indian golfer in the world. Rashid started with a birdie, but his fortunes in the next 17 holes went up and down like the rolling quaves and greens of the course. His opening day card included five birdies and four bogeys. He lost a couple of shots on the fifth and the sixth, but then recovered on the back nine with this birdie on the par 512. Another birdie on the par 316 helped him to one under. Angachima made a steady start with four straight pars and then picked up four birdies on the next five front nine holes. His bogey on the par 311 was the only blemish on his card. He quickly recovered with a birdie on the 12 and this one on the par 514. Another one on the 17 pushed him to six under for the day. But even this blistering performance couldn't match up to what Anirban Lahiri dished out in the first round. The 26-year-old nailed seven birdies in the first 12 holes, which included six straight birdies from 7 to 12. Two more birdies on the par 514th and par 415 had Anirban leading away at 9 under. Lively's tee shot on the final hole rolled into the water, resulting in a bogey for an 8 under car. Looking for his fourth straight victory on the PGTI, Anirban had made a dream start at the Ahmedabad Masters. Yeah, no, I, I played phenomenal golf today. I think even for my own standards, I hit it uh, really, really good. Uh, I got off to well, a, a slow start in the sense that I had a few opportunities early in my round and I didn't convert them. But I think once I start going, I really got going. I, I mean, I got on a roll today. Uh, buried nine holes out of 11 uh, from the 5th through the 15th, which included a six-hole stretch of birdies, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, I mean, that doesn't happen every day, you know, for the best of us. So, I'm really glad that I managed to keep that momentum uh, and, and finish well. Unfortunately, I made a bogey coming in, which is disappointing, but I think that's where uh, my lack of course knowledge kind of showed, because I would have probably played it differently. Elsewhere on the course, Ajitesh Sandhu posted a card of five birdies and two bogeys for three under on day one. His round included three straight birdies at the start of the back nine. His playing partner, SS Peter Asya, went one better with four consecutive birdies from the 10th to the 13th. In all, he nailed seven birdies in round one, but a double bogey on the par 5-8 and a bogey on the 18th pegged him back to four under for the day. Omprakash Chauhan sizzled six consecutive birdies from the 3rd to the 8th. He sank two more on the 10th and the 12th, but this bogey on the par 4-13 and two more on 15th and 18th pushed him down to five under for the day. OP was now third on the leaderboard behind Chima and Lahiri, who on his very first day at the course had set a course record of 8 under. There were a host of big names outside the top 10 tied at 16. Rashid Khan, Himmat Rai, Rahil Ganji and last season's top rookie Chikarangappa were all 1 under after the first round. Chika went a stroke better in round 2, finishing with 2 under 70 for a 2 round total of 3 under. But with difficult pin positions and windy conditions, a host of other players failed to stay under par. Ajitesh Sangu's card was the worst with a score of 8 over, which included 5 bogeys and 2 doubles. SSP Chorasia, who was 4 under on the first day, went 2 over on the second. His card on day 2 contained 5 birdies, 2 bogeys and two double bogeys on the 8th and the 10th. 
Angad Chima also finished 2 over for the day with a triple bogey on par 316. Rashid Khan and Oprakash Johan were both 1 over. Those managing an underpar card in the challenging second round included leader Anirban Lahiri. His round ranged from an eagle on the par 5 fifth to a triple bogey on the par 5 14, but it also had 5 birdies for a 2 under 70. Rahil Gangji struggled a bit throughout the front nine, but three birdies in the last four holes helped him to a three under 69. I feel like I'm still, you know, sussing the golf course out a little bit, you know, learning the lines and the, the slopes, where to, where to miss the ball, etc. So, um, let's hope tomorrow's even deeper. Sujan Singh was the best performer of the day, carding five under 67. He was flawless on the front nine with four birdies. A bogey on the 10th was negated by a birdie on the 11th and another one on the 14th pushed him up 29 spots on the leaderboard. Well, I started getting it back together towards the end of uh, the round yesterday and I knew today was going to be a little better because I was a lot sharper with my irons and I think that that's what happened today. I was uh, My distance control was a lot better and uh, the fairways are a little um, wide here and forgiving. So if you hit the fairway and uh, if, you, if your yardage control is pretty good on these greens especially, then um, as good as they are ruling, um, you will have some good opportunities for birdies. He was now tied third with four others. Abhinav Lohan was second thanks to another four under card on the second day. Anirban Lairi was still in command with a two-stroke cushion going into the weekend. Challenging conditions at the Kalhar Blues and Greens had meant that only 13 players remained under par after two rounds as the cut was applied at 8 over. So the PGTI season opener had separated the contenders from the pretenders. But there was only one from the remaining field of 59 who would be crowned the champion. That's the story for our next episode where we feature the business end of the tournament. For now, Goodbye.